Today might only be May 1st, but right now I'm getting on people's calendars for October and November. People seem to be less responsive and more booked up than usual. So consider this episode your sign to plan ahead. Hi, I'm Tori Mystic, and you're listening to the Wear Wag Repeat Podcast, the only show dedicated to supporting women in all areas of the pet industry. I can't believe we've already made it to May. This year is just flying by. So I am excited to share with you in this episode some of the things that I am looking forward to this month so that you can look forward to them too. First of all, I will be sharing an expert guest interview next Wednesday, May 8th. That expert is Deanna Seymour. She is a graphic designer and content strategy expert that I've gotten to know pretty well over the last year. If you have seen my Wear Wag Repeat Instagram account and seen my static nine grid, that is the work of Deanna. She helped me create the whole strategy behind that, all of the graphics, and wrote all the captions. <laughs> she is amazing, and I'm so excited to share this interview with her next week. We're talking about how to build community without relying so heavily on social media. The story-based formula that she uses for her Thursday emails are kind of the juiciest part of the interview, I think. So you can kind of learn from Deanna how she uses stories to build relationships and build community in her business and then somehow creatively ties them in to whatever she's doing in her business. So we'll give you some examples and um, some, some great stuff to think about so that you can implement this strategy in your business. I'm also really excited because Deanna is offering my listeners a special discount on her GIF making course called GIF It Up. <laughs> I've actually done this course and created some really fun GIFs. And after interviewing her, now I'm excited to go make some new GIFs, some new fresh ones for summer to include in my emails. So that episode will be coming out on Wednesday, May 8th. Put it on your calendar or make sure you're subscribed on whatever app you're listening to this on. And I also want to mention, I'm so happy that I was able to get on Deanna's schedule for this interview. This year, I'm only booking one expert guest per month. So this is very different from a couple years ago, I was doing a new guest every single week. And then all last year, I had a new guest every other week. And this year, I am scaling it back simplify to amplify. That's one of my Marie Forleo-isms that I love to repeat to myself. I'm, I'm contemplating getting it tattooed on my hand <laughs> so that I can remember to simplify to amplify. But this is working out so great. I'm only doing one guest expert per month. And what's kind of happened is that these guest, per, guest experts have been just amazing. Uh, and I think that giving the space to you know, pre-promote the episodes with, with episodes like this, and then after the episode, I've been sharing kind of my own personal takeaways from our interviews. I think giving the, the experts that kind of space for their advice to breathe and give you time to implement it, I'm just, I'm loving it. But you would think that only booking one guest per month would be much easier than having guests every single week. But I got to tell you, it has been kind of difficult. I was I was getting into a, a crunch this month because I was like, who am I going to talk to? Everyone was booked and a lot of people weren't replying to my requests to interview them. So I really want to encourage you to plan ahead. I just booked my guest for the November episode. We're going to have our interview sometime in October, and that episode will come out at the beginning of November. And it's not, I'm recording this, it's not even May yet. <laughs> so I was a little bit hesitant about reaching out to people thinking, oh, that's too far ahead. I don't want to seem like, I don't know, whatever, overly eager or, um, you know, it's sometimes it's hard. What? How do people know what they're doing six months from now or something like that? But 
some of my friends in actually Deanna's membership that I'm in, um, they were like, no, Tori, email the people right now, get on their calendar, especially if I want to book kind of bigger, exciting guests. Uh, I got to get on their on their schedule and on their calendar now. So I want to just share that advice with you. If there's anyone that you're hesitating to reach out to because you feel like it's too soon or it's too early, it is not. Reach out to people if you want to collaborate or do something or have a guest on your own podcast sometime later this year. Send the email right now. (laughs) Don't delay. Don't think, uh, you know, oh, I I don't want to email them because it's Monday and they're not going to see it and da-da-da-da-da. Just Send the email out whatever day that you think of it. Invite people to do things with you now because it is really hard to coordinate things. And, you know, you don't want to be doing stuff at the last minute. It's always better to plan ahead. (laughs) So speaking of planning ahead, what else do I have going on this month? Well, in Wear, Wag, Repeat Society, our theme of the month is reworking your email welcome sequence to get it to work for you. So we're going to be optimizing these welcome sequences, whether you have one email or three emails or five emails or 10 emails, whatever it is, we are going to make sure that automated welcome sequence is working for you. Because people get that email welcome sequence when they are the most enthusiastic and excited about you and your business. The moment when someone signs up for your email list is the most excited they're going to be about your email list. So you really want to make sure that your welcome sequence is working for you and helping people get to know you and get to know what you can do, how you can help them so that um, your emails are really working for you. So if you do it right, and I'm going to be helping everyone in Wear, Wag, Repeat Society this month um, make any kind of changes, sometimes a little tweak can make a big difference, but we're going to focus on making little tweaks so that our welcome sequence sells automatically for us so that hopefully you can have more free time this summer. Again, speaking of planning ahead, I want to have a lot of fun this summer. I want to have fun with my dogs. I want to go to the pool. I want to go to the beach. I want to just read a book outside some afternoon. So if I can get my email welcome sequence to automatically work for me and make sales, that's going to give me more free time. And if that's something that you're interested in and you're part of Wear, Wag, Repeat Society, I'm going to help you do that this month. Uh, Now, a little personal update. I've been trying to share some personal stuff on these episodes. I am going on vacation. I'm so excited. I'm going to Italy this month. I've actually been in a online Italian course all year. I signed up at the beginning of January and every single week since January up until now, I have been attending online Zoom calls to practice my Italian conversation, watching lessons, listening to podcasts, studying. I think I've gotten my Italian pretty good and I'm really excited to go on this vacation and put it to the test and see if I can have some conversations with some people or at least order my lunch and my coffee. in the morning. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going away without the dogs. Obviously, Bert and Lucy cannot come to Italy with me. And so when I go away without the dogs, I have a really great friend of mine who stays here at my house with Bert and Lucy. And I really, I love having someone stay at the house with them, especially since they're 12 years old now. It's just nice for them to be in their own space where they're comfortable. And for me, I don't have to take all their stuff anywhere. So they've got their supplements and their prescriptions and their food. And I stuff a whole bunch of topples and Kongs and tracheas and all kind of stuff and put that in the freezer so that um, my dog sitter can give them something, a special treat every day. And she walks them. And I know they just can sleep in my own, in my own bed. <laughs> Everyone can sleep in my own bed when I'm not here. And I just feel really confident that they're safe and sound and happy while she's staying here with them. So that's how I deal with going on vacation. Then when I get back from vacation, it will be time to help my course creator mastermind folks make their sales pages for their new courses. 
They are already creating really detailed outlines and bonuses, and I know they're going to start working on their videos of the actual lessons very soon. And when I get back from vacation, we're going to work on their sales pages because those courses come out on June 12th. I'm so proud of my course creator mastermind people because this is pretty fast paced, but it's totally doable with the system and the strategy that I've created to kind of follow uh, a week by week framework that I've created to help making their course less overwhelming. So I am really proud of what they've created. Again, those courses are going to come out on June 12th, which is coming up pretty soon here. (laughs) So I'm really excited to share that with you. If you are interested in how to stop nuisance barking, if your dog just will not stop barking and you need some help, I'm going to have a course for that. Well, I'm going to be sharing a course for that. And then if you live anywhere in an area that is affected by hurricanes, we're also going to have a course to help you prepare your pets for hurricane season. And this is a really thorough and detailed course that covers everything from a minor storm to an extreme emergency, how to be prepared for anything. And news reports are saying that this summer is going to be an especially bad hurricane season. So I'm really excited. Both of these courses are really going to be so helpful in teaching your dog how to just be happier and calmer uh, in home and out in the world with you and not barking all the time. And then the hurricane preparedness course is really going to give you that peace of mind that you're prepared for anything to keep your pet safe. So I'm so excited. I'm so proud of my course creator mastermind folks, Jen and Ruth. They're doing an amazing job creating their courses and I can't wait to share them with you. So that's another thing I'm just so excited about this month. One other thing that I'm going to try and squeeze into May is adding a new service to my business. So hopefully I will be able to introduce this this month. I I don't want to tell you too much about it yet, but it is going to be a done for you service related to email. Because again, we are here in Q2 where everything is about email. (laughs) And I have not offered a done for you service in a long time. I, I used to manage social media for a lot of different businesses here in Pittsburgh and all over the world, really. Uh, and I would do everything from start to finish for them when it came to their social media. But it's been a couple of years since I shut down that service. And since then, I've offered courses. I've had masterminds. Of course, I have the membership. But all of those are really kind of geared towards teaching a woman how to fish <laughs> rather than giving her a fish, right, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and so I'm, I'm excited to have the opportunity to offer you a done-for-you service related to email marketing. So that's just it's such a teaser but you're going to have to wait and see exactly what that service is. But I just, I, I think that it's a gap uh, in the marketplace here in the pet industry. Uh, and I'm just seeing where people need help and where you have told me that you need help. And hopefully I can be the person to help you. So There's a lot to look forward to in the month of May. I would love to hear what you are working on, if you're doing anything email related. Uh, And if you have a really great email list, please tell me about it. You can reach out to me on Instagram at wearwagrepeat. Or if you are on my email list, you can reply to literally any email I've ever sent you. (laughs) And I will see the reply. I'd love to subscribe to your list if you're doing really great things. I really believe in recommending other people's lists and referring people to other pet pros. So if there's something you want to share with me, please share it with me. I love to support and see what everyone is doing. So that about wraps it up for this episode and what you can expect in the month of May. Make sure if you're not subscribed that whatever podcast app you're using, you subscribe to this podcast and leave a review if you are so inclined. And look forward to my guest expert interview with Deanna Seymour coming out next Wednesday, May 8th. All right, have a great week. Some of the best conversations happen after the episode. 
Send me a note on Instagram at wearwagrepeat or find even more women petpreneurs to connect with in our private Facebook group called Wear Wag Repeat Labs. If you want to dig into more episodes, resources to grow your business, or find a link to something we discussed, it is all right there for you at wearwagrepeat.com. I'll see you back here next Wednesday for a fresh conversation.